What's up YouTube? This video is going to teach you guys how to change the backgrounds on your XBMC that's running on your Apple TV. Now, first thing you're going to need if you're on Windows or Mac, you're going to need to download CyberDuck. And I'll put the link in the description so you can add that. And once you open it up, first thing you want to do fix this first thing is you want to change open connection you want to change that to this standard file transfer protocol SSH then right here you want to put the IP address of your Apple TV And if you don't know your IP address of your Apple TV, I'll explain to you how to get it. It's, you just simply get it by going to your Apple TV and then first settings. Then you go to about. And once you go to about, there'll be a series of numbers, usually starting with 192.168. And those are the numbers you will need. So then, right here, after you get the IP address of your Apple TV, you type in your username, which is the default username, root, or OOT. Now, your default password will be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, all lowercase. And if you didn't already change it, that's what it'll be. And if I recommend you do change it, and I do have videos showing you how to change it. So, just see my other videos for reference and we'll get on to our changing of the background pictures okay first thing you want to do once you're connected is go back to that and then you want to go down here to var click on it and when the other things open you go down to mobile and you go down to media and then photo data now I've put my pictures you can see IMG and Beats logo and Apple logo and stuff which you'll see on my Apple TV in the second part of this video when we see what we've done now right here is photo data is where you want to drop your photos so just take them one by one and put them on your desktop or you know and slide them drop them one by one right here to photo data once they're dropped in photo data, if you want to click right here and you can look below photo data like I have and make sure they're there. And that's it, your job's done. And in the second part of this video, I'll go to the Apple TV and that's how we'll go from there. Okay, so now that you're done using CyberDuck and you've added your photos to your Apple TV's photo data section, now you want to go and launch your XBMC on your Apple TV and your background is just a few seconds away from changing first thing you want to do to make it look like you see in front of you is you want to go to system settings you want to go down to skin Then you want to go down to background customizer and select which one of the backgrounds you want to change. You change them one at a time. Videos, music, pictures, programs, weather. So once you select, you want to change whichever you know part of the background you want to change. You select single image now when yours opens up it'll just say home folder now, when you see it when it says home folder you select it and then you go down to media then you go down to photo data which is where you dropped it if you recall now scroll select whichever one you want to put on your programs or whichever section you're 
changing and then right you after you do it after you pick which one you want you just select it and after you select it just exit out of that and go and check make sure it's there which it should be and there you have it that's how it's done you just do them one at a time just after you did that when you just go back and repeat the process all right so that was a quick video to show you guys how you can use CyberDuck and SSH your photos onto your Apple TV XBMC and change the conf boring confluence background and put your own photos. Alright.